So is it true that a cubic centimeter of empty space has enough mass energy to recreate the universe several times over? I've heard that <laughs> said. We still don't fully understand the idea of nothing and whether there even is such a thing in physics. We used to think that if you took a cubic centimeter of space and got rid of all the air in it and all the light that's in there, etc., there would be nothing left. Well, now we know, first of all, there's some weird stuff called dark energy, which permeates all of space and causes our universe to expand Cosmological faster constant. Faster. Yes. It may be a constant, it may not be. Dark energy is really little more than a code word for our ignorance right now. Mm. We've also come to realize that there is the Higgs field, which is responsible for the Higgs particle that was mm -hmm. recently discovered, which permeates all of space. So the way I think about this is as if I were a fish who had lived my whole life in the ocean and gotten so used to swimming around that I thought of water as just empty space because it was everywhere. And I thought there was just a law of nature that, that said that if I swim at a certain speed, eventually I'll slow down. But if you're a very clever fish, you would eventually discover that there's a, this is, there's a substance there and you're slowing down because of friction. And you, if you're a really clever fish, you could discover that this substance is made of quarks and electrons that are arranged into, into these water molecules and you could write down the equations of the water molecule and find that it has actually three different solutions. One of them, which is liquid water that you know, but that there's also this other solution, ice, and the third solution, steam. And then you can make the prediction that maybe if you do some very clever experiment, you could freeze your water or, or make it evaporate. Well, this sounds maybe silly. We might laugh at such a fish, but the last laugh seems to be on us. Because it now does seem like this space it, that we thought was more or less empty is actually also something that can maybe freeze and melt and undergo a whole bunch of other transitions to actually more than just three different states that we should think of space as a form of medium. And, um, ether. Not, not like the old ether, old ether. precisely, but, but in a way a lot more interesting. Your colleague Frank uh, Wilczek is using the word grid now. That <laughs> this is the grid from where the universe is spewing out. Um, yeah, I'm on a dis discussion panel with Frank Wilczek tonight. Yeah. We'll be discussing more of these things. So. So to, to, work, to, to, to work as a researcher studying nothing is no longer <laughs> as silly as it used to sound. It's actually very, very interesting. <laughs>